With the cost of living crisis affecting pretty much all of us, sometimes we need something to take our mind off the stress. And that's exactly what I did today, after having almost another breakdown about money. But I'm here today to review the Simple Things a Wellness life and Lifestyle magazine that I think you might need in your life. And here's why. Cut my tea. I can take what I need to get by. So first, let's talk about price, because that's obviously important, isn't it? Well, a single magazine will only set you back £6. If you subscribe to the whole year, it's only £58. Which, for 12 magazines, one every month, is pretty good. Let's compare that to Breathe magazine, which is £75 a year. So it's a fairly big difference. By the way, if you didn't know, I'm Dawn, I'm a doctor, and I do self-improvement, but it's fun. I guess the first question to answer is, who is it for? Well, I guess the easy way to answer that is just to read you the subheadings of the contents page. But firstly, I think it's quite obvious from the title. Do you love the simple things in life? Or want to go back to more simple times? Well, then it might be for you. And don't get me wrong, there are a few negatives, which I'll explain later, but there are also some really good selling points for this magazine. What I really love is the variety that you get with this magazine. Cute little puzzles, and just random facts that you've probably never heard of. I think in particular a lot of the things in there are really creative. I also love the fact that it's seasonal, so, so you don't have to think, oh I need to remember that so I can go back to it. And it's every month, so it's just regularly updated with loads of information that you can use there and then. And obviously we can't ignore the fact that the magazine is beautiful, filled with loads of pictures, and it's, it feels a bit like a physical Instagram, but in a good way. A lot of the things on it are achievable. They're simple, they're not expensive. Now I've reviewed a lot of these mental health wellness magazines and I've got to say I think this is one of my favourite ones but there are still a few drawbacks to it. This is much harder than I thought. So finally I guess we better discuss the negative aspects and I think there are some, only three. I do wonder if one episode every month is maybe a bit too much but maybe that's just me. I guess if you really like a magazine you would read one every month but for some people that might be a bit too much. A lot of magazines including Breathe which I've done a review for, I'll leave it in the suggested at the end. Breathe is every two months however it is a bit more wordy so now I'm unsure of of whether I would be able to read one every month because I haven't actually got a subscription to this magazine. I have a subscription to Breathe but I am I have cancelled it so in all honesty I'll probably switch over to the simple things. I think one of the most obvious ones for the non-UK watchers of the video is that you can only get it in the UK. However, that is the print version. You can get it online. But is there anything better than having a physical magazine? I don't think so. I guess yes, it is better for the environment, but, but you can't deny that physical sensation you get and the happiness when you read a proper physical magazine. And last but not least, I think something that you might notice when you're reading a magazine, but not particularly much because it seems quite appropriate, is the adverts within the magazine. Now, a lot of magazines do have adverts. Breathe in particular is very good at not having many adverts at all. And I have noticed there are more adverts in this magazine. However, they seem well placed and to be honest, like something I would buy. So I'm not like, oh, get out of my way. I'm actually kind of like, eh, I'd buy that. I think one thing that I love in particular is the fact that you can, you can just kind of look at it like a little picture book, but there's also sections where you can really get into it. There's more text and, and if you want a read, you can have a read. What I think is interesting is that the contents is at the back, so you kind of just start flicking through it and see where you go. I don't know if it's intentional, that's kind of what happens. I think what's most important to note when you're reading this magazine is just just the feeling it gives you. This September issue, yes it's pretty old, but I feel like I'm in September. I feel wholesome and warm and fuzzy inside and I just want to like curl up on the sofa with a hot chocolate and read this. That is the feeling you need in life and if you can get it from a magazine, well, why wouldn't you? And if you want to join me on that self-improvement journey, please feel free to subscribe. Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly Just trying to simplify my life in more ways than one.